Hello and welcome back. In this section, our focus is going to create microservice based application with Java and Node.js. We are going to start from where we left in the last section. We will add authentication and authorization to our existing code of Spring Boot Java application. We will be using Access UAA service. Before that, we will be creating our Access UAA service using accesssecurity.json file. In the process, we will understand how to create our accesssecurity.json, what is the syntax, how to create scope, role collection, and role template. All that we will cover. Once we have created our scope and roles, we will create our Java application which will be able to handle security checks based on our role. Once we are able to do that, we will deploy our Java application. And first we will check manually by creating a token and passing that security token using Postman to see if our Java application actually works by passing the token because the token is where the authentication information is present. In the process, we will understand how the token exchange is done. Once we have learned how the token exchange is done by manually performing the activities in Postman, we will use app router and let the app router pass the token automatically to our Java Spring Boot application. We will also create routes in app router and we will deploy app router and spring boot application together in cloud foundry and test the entire scenario of spring boot app router with access uaa service once we have achieved that we will start and work towards node.js application there are few sections where we will get basic understanding of how to use node with express we will initially start very slowly for learners who are new to Node.js. And once we gain pace, we will integrate Express.js to our Node.js application. We will integrate our HDI backend. You can also use HANA database or HANA backend if you have a paid account in Cloud Foundry with the same library which we use. But in the case, what we are covering here, we are going to use our HDI container. Now to connect to our HDI container, we will be using a plugin called Node HDB. This plugin will be responsible for establishing a connection to your HANA database or HDI container and execute SQL queries on the database. So once we have achieved extracting data from our Node.js application with the API's endpoint, then we will secure our Node.js application using Access UAA services. In the process, we will use Passport module of Node.js and we will use JWT strategy to get the token and pass it to our Node.js application. We will see how we can check a API endpoint to a particular scope or role which we have defined in Access UAA. Once we achieve that, we will be able to secure our Node.js API endpoint with the roles when we deploy our application to cloud. By this time, we will have a working microservice application in our SAP Cloud Foundry with Spring Boot, App Router, and Node.js with Access UAA authentication and authorization. Once we achieve that, we will also create a simple SAP UI5 application which will be part of Node.js application where we will host a very simple list and this list will be representing all student details which we have extracted from our Node.js API endpoint. In this entire section, we have covered all the details from scratch and if you are a beginner, intermediate or advanced, you can use this particular part of the course to learn microservice using Node.js and Spring Boot application and also secure your application with Access UAA service 
in SAP Cloud Foundry. I hope that this section will provide you a firm foundation and practical insight on how to work on application if you get a requirement. So with that, let's go in the course and I will see you in the course.